This is me and this is my love to Inoue Arihime. I absolutely don't know why she got so many hatred in Lynch fandom. I even asked people on Reddit why. And my subreddit was deleted because, see, it's absolutely unfair. Well, never mind. Inoue is amazing. She loves food, she extremely loveful good, she gorgeously objectivated, and she is really very easy to cosplay. And today I'm gonna show you why. We are going to make simple Japanese school uniform. Simple, but it has its own tips and tricks. I tried to buy like already sewed gray skirt, but I didn't find it. So I'm gonna sew it by myself. Oh well. First real life hack for you cosplayers. If you see in a thrift store a good white shirt that suits you, buy it. Just buy it, it will always be handy. I already used a couple of them myself and I still need many of them. <laughs> you, you don't want to sew shirt by yourself, trust me. I cut sleeves from it so it would be more like t-shirt shirt. I run at edges so it would be easier to sew later. And also I sew a pocket on a chest from sleeves leftovers. Very, very handy. Ironing is actually going to be next real life hack for you cosplayers. Iron everything and carefully. It will be so, so much easier to sew anything if you will iron it well. I even press it with some wooden thing so it can be flat and slick as it possible. For bow I used already existed YouTube tutorial, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to invent something by myself there, not me. Cut needed pieces, iron it again very carefully, sew them together and voila, nothing complicated. Sew with sleeves, pocket and shirt too and did cute red tag as it is on reference. From the same fabric as a bow. It also needed gold thingy in the middle of it, so I used a crystal. Shirt is done, very easy, yeah. You may ask me, Sarah, do you have an always hairpins? I have something better. A drowning of hairpins, yeah. I literally just printed it instead of buying it from the internet because I didn't want to wait for it for a couple of months and stuff. I photoshopped it and printed on photo paper, then just cut it and painted with transparent gel nail polish so it could be thick. But there are some she happened because of UF lab photography actually expired because <laughs> yeah it's like what happening with films and stuff so it's actually better to use just regular nail polish and glue it on a carpet for thickness for example or just buy normal hairpins from the internet because they are really cheap why, why I did it by myself i don't know and you know what is the best part of this cosplay? It's a wig, because it is so extremely easy to style, oh my god, oh I adore. The only thing I did for her is just trim it a little bang thingy and that's all. And you look amazing! Best character ever! As you may see, it goes very easy so far with this costume, but wait for it. <laughs> the biggest problem was actually to sew a skirt, since I don't like sewing, to be honest. But even this was pretty easy, especially since I already sewed like absolutely same skirt for my Marin Kitagawa costume. You can watch this video too on my channel. At first goes washing and ironing the fabric. It called fabric decadation and it helps to shrink fabric so it won't shrink later on you after sewing. So you wouldn't be able to put it on. <laughs> then I took off my measurements. You need waist to where you want it to be and lay of a skirt. How long you want it to be. I prefer make my waist higher and lay smaller. For skirts, it makes my legs look longer. Not as it is in real life. <laughs> and sketching is also always helps me with costumes. I just draw all seams and write down all my measurements and I can do math here as well. You need to multiply measurements of your waist by 3, add couple centimeters for seams and I prefer also add some more extra centimeters since I am really bad with gathering and I always need more fabric. So it turns out that you need pretty long stripe of fabric and since it's only one and a half meter you need to cut some 
more extra fabric for it. And those stripes has the same weight as your measurement that you did before. And extra 4 centimeters for seams and stuff. I don't have an overlock machine, so I'm doing it on my regular sewing machine with fake overlock mode and with special food for fabric edges. It works not that good and accurate as overlock, of course, but it still works, especially for just cosplay costume. We don't need to wear it every day, so I see we two pieces of my future skirt together and then the pretty heck a long journey of sewing lover age of a skirt started. And I didn't even film it. Seriously, I can't imagine how people sewed it by hand a couple centuries ago. It takes so long. Overlock it and then just fold it and sew it and then iron it everything together, of course. I actually iron it after every single step, so... Then goes folds! Yeah, we need to fold everything. I actually did it just with third attempt. First time I had absolutely no idea what am I doing. Then I folded everything and accurate and it turns out way too short for my waist. So I was forced to measure everything accurately with cardboard stripe and fold everything carefully like dot to dot fold to fold well it's just not that hard actually just make it properly from the beginning not as i did I actually almost forgot that for this skirt I used it already existed tutorial that I even used it a couple times before. Yeah, I'm not inventing nothing here. <laughs> I will leave a link to the tutorial below. Look at her, she folded everything so good and properly. Now we need to iron this sheet down so it won't move anywhere. I'm doing it on high temperature of my iron, but I'm doing it through a cotton fabric so it won't burn everything. And I also pressing it carefully carefully with my special ironing pillow. Now I finally sewing my skirt together so it would look more like something real and then goes hidden zipper. It is pretty terrific thing, but not that hard as it looks. Again, what will really help you to make everything good is ironing. Non-ironically. <laughs> uh. I sewed back seams just on the halfway, ironed it carefully to separate sides, and I also already ironing those unsewed edges that I left for my zipper, and carefully pressing it down so it would keep its shape. And then I pin my locket hidden zipper to those edges, like how it will look when it will be sewed. And then I sew in it with running stitch from the inside out. And when I will take off the pins, I will be able to sew it carefully in my sewing machine with special food for zippers. And it will look absolutely hidden. The only thing I did wrong is that I sewed my zipper way too low and it created a little hole. But I won't redo it anyway, so just don't make my mistakes. Sew it pretty high, it will be covered with belt anyway. Haven't you noticed that this video transformed into skirt sewing tutorial though? We almost finished it, keep it up! My zipper was a little bit longer than I needed, so I just cut it and sewed the tip of it together a little. For belt, I took the strap of fabric with same length at my waist, but 5 cm wider for seams and tag thingy. I even used interfacing fabric so it will be thick and kept its shape carefully on my waist. I glued it with high, high temperature iron through cotton fabric again, then pin it down to a skirt, then sew it on a sewing machine, then ironing again very carefully, and final sewing of it. I decided to do it by my hands, talking about sewing on hands, since I wanted it to look seamless from the front, even though it had pretty much themes from the inside. Ta-da! Your sewing is done! You should also sew some kind of hook or clip to pin your tag of a skirt, but I always we skip this part and ending up using just safety pin because I'm lazy and it's okay. And last but not least, shoes! I couldn't find any white knee socks in my local shops, so I ended up to buy just men's socks. Yeah, <laughs> what a sexism! Or should I say, socksism? I'm sorry. It doesn't look way too masculine on my feet, so it's okay, never mind. And I already had some regular Japanese school shoes from my Hoseki no Kuni cosplay, so I used them. 
And then goes photoshoot. I really wanted to use something special for it since costume itself not so special. <laughs> First of all, I bought some food because you know I love it as well as I am, so why not? And also look at this, it's a leaf. Oh my god, it looks so big and so thick just like I prefer. And it matches perfectly with the now orange hair. It looked amazing and of course I needed to buy it. <laughs> not only for memes, it actually looked very good. So this is my Inori Hime cosplay. Oh, I love her so much. And sign this costume is not that complicated and big. It still looked so good and I had so much fun to wear it. This is like the main thing in cosplay. To have fun and to make memes, of course. Do you want to see my result photos when it will be ready? So then subscribe to my Instagram and to my Facebook page and of course to my YouTube channel so you won't miss anything. And don't forget to hit the like button and the bell button. And please write down in the comments who I should cosplay next. Maybe Rukia from Bleach? Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I will see you in my next video. Bye!